So my name is Basha and I'm an artist living in the Blue Mountains and I'm also a yoga and meditation teacher. And in particular, meditation has been a big passion, interest, I don't really know how to describe it, but a, a life, I guess, examined, an examined life is what's, is what's really important to me. So meditation, I feel, fuels all my interests. I think becoming an artist for me was really an extension of my yoga and meditation practice. It was just really to inquire deeper into what life is really about through the creative expression of art. And I've always had like a deep interest in, in creating, like since I was little, my mom said I would draw and everything and uh, I had this kind of interest and really I would describe it as like this pull uh, towards creating and creativity and really, I guess, expressing myself artistically. So it just feels kind of like a natural evolution for me. So my earliest journey so far, um, well, you, there is always a long story and a short story, but I really feel that it kind of began in when I found alcohol inks as a medium to really express what I wanted to express as well as explore the process itself of creating. The medium alcohol inks is a very unpredictable, spontaneous medium that really mirrored my practice, my meditation practice of letting go and being able to be in that space of not knowing and actually use that as a way of tuning in in a meditation to like awareness, a deeper sense and create from there. So. It very much um, was an expression that I found to be so beautiful as well as the fact that it produced these amazing effects of nature which I was very much about my practice and I love that expression but I also found I wanted to go deeper because the medium itself is quite um, synthetic, it's working with alcohol and my subject and my connection to nature is so important and really I would say pivotal to my practice so I wanted to explore using natural inks and making my own natural inks as a way of not only connecting to nature but also working with a medium itself that had an energy that was different to I guess a synthetic energy and so these days I'm exploring foraging making my own inks and then actually creating um, with that energy of nature into my works so yeah that's my artist journey so far For me, living in the Blue Mountains is such an inspiration for my work. It, it is so in so many ways. And firstly, it helps me to drop away all the layers of self or drop away layers of busyness or the mind activity when I go out and to these amazing locations, look out and meditate. It's a real deep sense of dropping things that are unnecessary to then be open to create in the form that I create but also then draw from an energetic point of view. This place has such a deep sense of energy and various places have different energies, which then I love to meditate and I guess soak myself in to then create from. So I would say the place that I'm in very much reflects my process and my work and yeah. <laughs> My process um, currently with uh, I guess natural inks begins with foraging so I'll go out and uh, basically look uh, and experiment to find different objects that will hopefully give me a nice color or a color that I can work with and so I'll forage rocks, um, lichen, um, wild berries, um, leaves, charcoal, there was of course massive amounts of bushfires that happened so I'll pick up charcoal and sap and then I'll usually um, collect that all and do take the time when I am collecting to actually connect 
um, with the item, with the natural body that I'm collecting from and of course bring in that energy um, or receive that energy from that and then come home and um, brew it up which kind of feels quite witchery uh, for me because I have to usually boil it or crush it and have a whole sense of process to extract the color and then once I have the colors it's then another kind of process where I will usually um, set a sense of ritual before I begin the process of creating so I'll either set a few candles I'll, I'll try um, to maybe even do some movement and then usually do a practice of meditation to really empty um, of my own ideas and projections and kind of desires of what I want the work to be so that I can just flow out through me in a much more freer expression. And even though I believe I co-create with that sense of energy, um, I do flow in and out of these spaces of really just being in that open space to see what comes out. And the alchemy of all the different colors that come out is just always a wonderful experience for me to just see what, um, what gets created in and of itself with just a few of my, I guess, interactions in some, in some sort of way. And yeah, that's, the, that's really the process um, of my work. And I think it differs um, to maybe a traditional form of where I have an idea of this is what I want to create, to actually tuning into what wants to come through me and then kind of exploring it through there in this kind of dance and this play that I have with whatever decides to come out.